Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. What's up? What's popping, Dumelang? The God channel. What's up? What's popping, Dumelang? The God. Today's video is going to be on. Well, yes, I speak since I wanted to an extent. <laughs> I say this because now before I came to the UK I was in a school called Marula private school which is mainly a uh, English medium or considered an English medium I did do sit on our classes at that school and most of the students there spoke English in a bit of Sitwala. So personally I was gravitating towards speaking English most of the time. Even at home I would speak English. English. So Sitwana came second, even though it's my first language, technically, I speak English most of the time. Like, when I'm speaking to my friends and family, I can't have an actual conversation in Sitwana for a long period of time, I had to speak English halfway. Like, I can't, it's physically hard for me to have a long conversation with someone in Sitwana. I can use the basic, like, connecting words. For example, Ghana, Waring, Wena. Those kind of words I can use, like Dumelan, the guy, you know, I can use those in a conversation, but I cannot speak a whole sentence in Sichuanda to someone. I will run out of words. Now, now, in terms of Reading Sitwana. <laughs> I am horrible. I cannot read a Sitwana book to save my life. Even when I was a kid, I was horrible. I would do something called Hukunkovet. So Hukunkovet is more like stammering through reading like you like cutting off the words to understand what you're reading and that was me in primary school high school throughout uh secondary like that was me it was bad, it was horrible. Even people ask me, do, do I speak Sitwana? Do I actually understand it? Don't get it confused. I understand Sitwana, so don't even try to talk about me behind my back. I understand it very well. It doesn't mean I cannot understand it. It just means I cannot speak it to you. With, with a long conversation, but I do understand it. Now, for my friends and family, they totally understand that I cannot have a conversation with them without speaking English. So what they would do is accommodate me in a way and have to speak English with me so that I can feel comfortable around them. Even though I can, you know, speak Sichuana here and there, 
I also try my best to speak sort of to them to my full extent. I can't force it. I can just speak what I know and have in my recovery. But other than that, I am nothing but a kid who, unfortunately, grew up speaking more English than Susanna, which is sad, but it's my reality and it's what I have to deal with and I've grown to love other languages I love watching soapies or TV shows in other languages for example I watch um, Generations, I watch Kim Sami, I watch um, Mubango you know to increase my recovery of other languages even though I won't be able to write it down or spell it I can at least have a sense of what they're talking about without reading the subtitles I listen to music in other languages because I want to broaden my spectrum in terms of languages you know and that music is really nice in different languages not always English 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 because English can get boring because you hear the same words all the time in different songs but in different formats so yeah that's it for today and if you have any questions about me speaking Sitsuana then go ahead ask me I'll answer to my capability but please don't forget that it doesn't mean I don't know my language or know my mother tongue I just can't I can articulate myself in in Sitsuana as I can in English to a certain extent so yeah that's it peace like subscribe and share if you want I'm out. One, two, three, fuck it.